Good morning everyone. I'm trying to be a little bit quiet because it's very, very, very early. It is about 20 to 6. I am heading off to a tourist park where I'm by myself. I'm going to Karula Park, which is at Mosselbrook. It's about an hour and a half, two hours away. Depends on how many toilet stops I will need. <laughs> um, but Erica needs to stay at home and possibly be doing some work. So I'm heading out by myself and I will keep you updated on how I go at the K. This is ticking off the K. And I'm pretty tired. <laughs> I have stopped for the toilet at Brangston. Um, the car says it's two degrees. I don't even want to go out there. Um, but I'll do a quick toilet stop. We're about an hour away. All right, I have arrived at Karula Park. I'm very, very early. It's only 20 past seven. Um, it was a very, very smooth run. There was literally no traffic on the road. Um, so I did bring my book, so I'm just gonna read my book for a little bit um, and then I will get ready to go for my run. Oh, jumping back on. It is still really cold. I don't think I've really warmed up. That was a three lap course, which is fine. It was more trail like grass, gravel, not a lot of footpath. Much harder to run on than like Nui with just all footpath. Um, but good one. Very small amount of people, probably less than 50. Might have been 40. Um, but I'm going to warm up jump back in the car and drop home. Good morning, happy Saturday. It is 9.44. I've just walked, oh. <laughs> Jamie's just headbutted my hand that's holding the camera because she would like to be patted. Jam, she went to bite me this morning because I stopped patting her. The biting is getting to be a bit of a problem with this one, so. I'm wary because she draws blood like <laughs> they're full on bites. Um, if anyone has any cat biting advice, please let us know. I don't know if she's just a grumpy old cat or what. Anyway, hi, happy Saturday. It's quarter to 10. I just got back from the gym. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't go with Dan to park run this morning because I had some um, work that I needed to do. So... I was up early this morning doing some bits and pieces and now I've just come home and there's more things for me to do. <laughs> so I'm just going to get stuck into that now because it's a little bit time sensitive. Um, and then Dan, I don't, I don't know when Dan will be back. She was going miles away and it was also really cold this morning. So I'm sure she was absolutely freezing because she was going inland. So it would have been even colder than here. <laughs> The gym was such a good session though. It was just like a, we just laughed all the time, which is what makes it enjoyable. And would you believe I was meant to go yesterday and I ended up cancelling and then I wanted to, this, the class I like today um, was booked out, but you can go onto the wait list. And I was number nine on the wait list when I joined and I was like, well, there's only 12 in the class. So <laughs> unlikely that I will actually get to go. And then I wake up this morning and it was like, you've been cleared from the way list. So <laughs> must be my lucky day. But I'm going to get stuck into this work. Um, and then hopefully at some point Dan will get home. We can have some brekkie. I wouldn't mind having a shower, but I'll just get this work done first. Okay, I am home from Park Run. Had a shower all refreshed. Um, I'm assuming that we're gonna have some breakfast soon, but there is a job that I need to do out here, outside, that um, I 
talked about it on the vlog a couple of weeks ago and I haven't been able to get it done because it's been so wet. So we need to oil the decking, which I'll show you. So this stuff along here needs to be oiled and so does the deck on up there and a couple of other bits down the bottom there and over over here by the clothesline and um, I did some the other couple of weeks ago I did this part the along here so I oiled that but um, it rained and I didn't get to do any of the others but what I actually want to do now is wash it all and then tomorrow afternoon I can finally get it all oiled. It's supposed to be good weather all weekend. So I figured if I could get it washed now, it will be dry by tomorrow afternoon and then I can oil it. Also, I'll show you. A couple of vlogs ago we did coriander and it's actually seems to be doing reasonably well at the moment which is unusual for coriander so hopefully we can actually get some off there and the lemons erica might even pick these today and make something but they are ready to go they're about to come off they look amazing we've got four so we can probably take all of those off today if erica's got something that she wants to Make with it. I was just sweeping off the um, podium deck thing so I can wash it. And you should see all the mushrooms up the back here. Um, it's rained a fair bit the last week or so. So I'll show you. There is heaps and heaps and heaps of them. I'm not sure if the camera, there we go. There is heaps of those orangey looking mushrooms, even like up the back here. There's heaps, they're everywhere. <laughs> I also wanted to thank everyone who made a suggestion of what to do up the back here. So far, my favorite was fill it in and put pots on there. So someone suggested gravel, which seemed a lot easier than the other suggestion, which was <laughs> concreting. And I was like, I don't think we're concreting, but you could dig some of that out, fill it with gravel and just put kind of pots on there or something. I think that would be a lot better and mm. would possibly kill some of the Maybe. the weed growth and everything. But we will see how those plants go and if we need another I mean there's look at the weeds in there already. <laughs> I, um, know. I was like, Oh that plant's grown and then I was no, like, it's no, weeds. It's weeds. <laughs> um, so yeah, we've got nothing but time to figure out what we want to do with that back beat, so we'll see. Okay, we've got a big decision to make today because our lemons I should just show the lemon. The I just showed do, the lemons. I feel like the pressure of what to do with them. I don't know. I just had to dance last night. Should I make a lemon curd? What's the best use of? I wanted to lemon? make a lemon meringue pie, but she seems to be <laughs> not taking that suggestion very um, to heart for some reason. <laughs> That was hard work and it's nice in the sun. Um, the top deck part will dry really quickly, um, but the um, kind of part near the back door, it will take ages to dry. So oh, I think I am literally use all of my energy for the day and now I'm gonna sit on the couch. Let's see what Erica is up to. Finally time to have something to eat. I've had to start cranking out. Needs a wash. My a butterball travel apron. Yeah, it probably does need a wash. <laughs> because I keep getting stuff all over my clothes. So, What's um, for breakfast? I'm, I'm hungry too. 
Well, it's Saturday. It's 11.30. It's got to be bacon and eggs, doesn't it? I've broken one of the eggs, but, you know. It happens. Oh, I'm looking forward to breakfast and some time on the couch. How about you? Sounds good. Yeah. Well, I can confirm that we've kind of just vegged out now, um, but the swans are about to start. They're playing North Melbourne, and I just said to Erica, if they lose this game, I'm out for the year. I'm not watching any more games. They should not lose this game. So fingers crossed, swans will win, and then I will be very happy. Shall I pick them? Okay, I'm guessing that was right because it came off very easily. You have to smell these. Oh, wow. <laughs> They're so They're lemony. So, yeah, wowzers. Oh, they smell really good. <laughs> so off our tiny little lemon tree, we've got these four beautiful looking lemons. This one is giant size. They feel like they're going to be juicy, but I guess we won't know until we cut into them. But I was, we were just having a look at what recipes we could make and we've decided on easy lemon bars. I've been enjoying doing some baking on the weekend and then Dan just takes it in to, for her work colleagues on Mondays and they seem to enjoy it as well. So. Let's me have my little baking fun and then we don't have to have, you know, a whole tray of lemon bars here. <laughs> we can just have one or two. <laughs> um, I will say we do have a really good lemon chicken marinade on our website, which is havebutterwilltravel.com. But I don't have any chicken and I actually didn't even order any in our click and collect this week, which I usually do get chicken. So... I don't know why I didn't get chicken. I went with two lots of mints this time. Um, so I, had, I did the click and collect this morning, not thinking about the lemon recipe. I'm going to pick it up this afternoon. But I was looking for a lemon recipe where I had all the ingredients here already. So that kind of limited down the options I could choose. I think I've got most of the ingredients for this. So... I'm gonna do some baking while Dan's watching the footy. Just cut one open. Look how juicy they are. Very impressed that we have such good lemons from the first lemons off the tree. I just squeezed that one lemon. There was half a cup of juice in one lemon. <laughs> They're very juicy. Just put my lemon bars in the oven. Still got three lemons. <laughs> Only needed that one. So maybe I will get some chicken and do some of our lemon chicken marinade. And who knows what else with my precious babies. Half time, the swans are winning, but barely they're not playing very well it's 49 33 to the swans versus north melbourne they should be winning by a lot more than that hopefully third quarter they can kind of get a roll on um but i have started i've been reading all along but i've been reading like just what we call candy on the ipad um but i've had a bunch of books on my bedside and i picked this one up it's set in Dublin. Um, it took me probably 50 pages to get into it. It's very descriptive is the best way that I can um, describe it, I guess. But now I'm oh, halfway yeah, in, way in. Um, and I'm in now, so I want to know what happens. Um, we also have bought some new books. We listened to a podcast with Gretchen Rubin. We've talked about... Um, armchair expert a lot both of us love that podcast a lot and um this is her new book and for those of you who don't know is hearing that's my thing <laughs> anyway so i wanted to read this and see what she had to say about the senses and um 
Well, they talked about it on the podcast. It was pretty yeah. interesting. So I'm interested to read this. And I think on her website you can do a quiz to see which of your senses you kind of... Neglect. Yeah. yeah. And then it gives you ideas on how to... Um, Engage with that sense Yeah, more so I think she said for her it was hearing... So then she was like listening to certain music and then like going on walks and specifically listening to the sounds around and stuff. I like the idea of it. It's kind of like a different way of mindfulness almost. Yes, yeah. We also recently watched the Michelle Obama Oprah Winfrey special on Netflix, I think. I think it was Netflix, yeah. Um, and so we bought her second book we read the becoming Mm -hmm. um we both read becoming a couple of years ago so she wrote this during covid i think yeah um so it would be interesting to read this and then eric has just added some rando book on there what is this one (laughs) oh this girl i also heard on a podcast so it's called the wellness trap um it was kind of like debunking a lot of i guess the wellness culture yeah yeah, things that you see on social media and whatnot. Scout, um, wants scout to get right the, amongst them. Get out of here. <laughs> so I'm just going to keep watching the Swans game. What are you up to? My lemon bars are in the oven. Oh, I get to taste those soon. Well, they need I to just cool, saw I'm it needs to cool and then go into the fridge. So you won't be tasting it today. <laughs> what kind of recipe is that? You chose. Oh, my God, we did not deserve to win that game. Swans just won 93 to 90. The um, Kangaroos gave away a free kick and a 50-metre penalty with a minute to go because they did one too many interchanges. You're allowed to have 75 interchanges, and they did 76. I mean, oh, my God, North got robbed then, and I'm a Swans supporter. That... I mean, they did it to themselves. I mean, isn't it someone's job to do that? Wow. Unbelievable. Anyway, this one's won. I don't know whether I'm happy about it or not. (laughs) I don't even know how I feel about it. Um, But we need to go and get our click and collect. And there's going to be a lot of talk about that all week, that game. Wow. We just went up to Mayfield, Islington. 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 And grabbed dinner. We have a Texas barbecue place called Hot Smoking, Smoking Hot, hot and, and Saucy. saucy. That's right. Smoking <laughs> Hot and Saucy. And we got um, just some fries. And we each got a burger. I got a barbecue burger with pulled pork. That's that there. Open up. Pulled pork. Can't see inside. Oh, okay. He's got a lot of meat on there. And Erica got just a regular cheeseburger. We have had platters and stuff from there before. Um, and the meat's really nice. Oh, that looks really good. Ooh, yum. Smells smoky. You can smell, it's really smell how smoky, smoky yeah. it is. <laughs> um, so we're going to have our dinner. And we're kind of having date night tonight. So At home. At home. Takeaway <laughs> and... I've been wanting to watch Air, which is the Ben Affleck, Matt Damon, Michael Jordan, Nike story. And um, it was on at the movies, and I think it's still on at the movies, but it's also on Amazon Prime, which we have for free. So um, we're going to watch that tonight. Um, And thank you so much for watching. Bye.